All right, today we are gonna make this really cute bow hanger for a little girl. And it only takes a few simple tools and it gets everything out of the drawers and bows tend to get smushed. So this is a perfect way to hang them up and be a little decorative. So I just bought a frame. This one happens to be 16 by 20. You could use an old frame and it has, this one comes with all the hangers already on the back. So we're going to take this off, take this back piece off. And what I wanna do is just give it a little bit of decoration. Get three sides here. So I'm just gonna lift this off, this cardboard piece off the back. Then I'm going to take this paper out because we certainly don't need that. That's gonna be thrown away. And what we're left with is the frame and the glass. And this is plexiglass, which is perfect for a little kid's room. All right, it's not real glass, so we're good with that. We're plexiglass. I'm gonna try to keep it as clean as we can. What I'm going to do is I have this piece of leftover sparkly tool and I am just going to stretch this across the plexiglass just to give it because you'll see the wallpaper behind it but this will just give it a little bit of sparkle who doesn't love a little sparkle so I'm going to slide this back into the edge down there and then I'm going to give it a good tug. This happens to be stretchy, so it works really well. Give it a good tug. Get this plexiglass back down inside there. So it just makes it a little more fancy. And then all we have to do is close these little picture tabs back up again. So we're just going to close these down. And then I'll trim away the excess sparkle and put a little dab just a little dab of hot glue around i don't want to melt the plexiglass but i also don't want the fabric to shift out so i'm going to go back and trim that now see how cute All right just a little bit of sparkle just doesn't really even do that much but when it's up against the wall it'll be really cute and sparkly so you can see I quickly I quickly just trimmed away the tool and then I'm going to, I left enough, I'm gonna go back and trim it really nicely, but I left enough so I could give it a tug because I want it nice and secure. And then I'm going to add some glue right along one of these little clips that holds the frame together, All right? So I put some glue right along this little clip here and then I'm just kind of shoving this tool up and as the glue dries it'll hold it in place because I want to have it to be a little taut. And so this piece fell out and then that's why you put the glue in. <laughs> so I'm just going to pull this, this piece that's glued over here didn't fall out but this corner kind of came out a little bit. So that's why we leave it a little bit long in the beginning. And it also gives you the option to put it back in again because we wanna tug it and make sure that it's nice and snug before we glue it down. So I'm gonna go around and finish gluing all of my pieces so I have a nice tight little sparkle on my frame. Like you can barely see it, right? It's just enough, but it'll you'll be able to differentiate it from whatever is decorating the wall. All right, so I've tightened this up all the way around and glued it on, and I'm just gonna trim all of these ruffly pieces so they're nice and even along the edge of my frame. And these duck-billed scissors work great for that. Just to neaten it up. Now that we have our frame all glued down on the plexiglass and we've trimmed up these edges and glued them 
to these little nails that hold the plexiglass in, we're going to glue on some ribbon. So what you wanna do is get a selection of ribbon that works for your theme, whatever that may be. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of pink, obviously. They're going to be for lots of little girls. And you can lay your ribbons out. You wanna cut them so they're the length of the mirror. If you're gonna hold this frame this way, right, the long way, you'll get more rows of ribbon. And then once the ribbon is on there, you can clip your little bows to the ribbon. So I'm going to cut some lengths of ribbon and lay them out in a pattern that I like. And I have lots of fun pink ribbon to work with. I don't want the ribbon too wide. This happens to be one of the ribbons. I'm gonna lay them all down. and I wanna make them long enough when I cut them so I can wrap them to the back because that's where I'm gonna glue them back here. I'm gonna stretch them tight. So I'm gonna cut them to the length that I need. And then in order to keep the ribbons from fraying, you want to just take a little lighter and just light the edges. So we're gonna do that to each one of the ribbons and that takes them from fraying and then we'll glue them down. I'm gonna cut a bunch of pieces and lay them out so I have a pattern that I like. All right, as you can see, I have just, so I have my frame and I laid them all out, all my ribbons the way I like them. And I just put a little tacky dab of glue right here at the top of the frame to kind of hold them in place. And then I used a spacer. So there are different spaces across. And I'm going to do the same thing down here. I'm gonna put a little tacky dab on each one of those before I finish pulling them all the way around. This way, I know they're tight on the frame and they're away from this backing a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. I mean, if you don't wanna space it, you can eyeball it. Certainly, you know, once it's filled with ribbons and you want it tight you want to pull it so it's taut you want it off the off the frame and off the plexiglass because you're going to be sticking clips behind it so you might have to just hang on to it for a second after you glue it so it doesn't kind of collapse back let the glue give the glue a chance to harden a little bit All right, so while I'm finishing up my last strip here to just tack it onto the frame and make sure those are all good and tacked down dry, I want you to think about the ribbon. You don't want anything too heavy, uh, too wide, because uh, you wanna be able to slide the clip in there and great big wide ribbons, it's not necessary. I mean, it is certainly a different look, but that looks pretty cute. I'm pretty happy with that. So now I have all these little tab ends and I'm gonna go ahead 
because they're stuck to my board now. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna glue them down on this side and trim off any edge that's hanging over the frame because I left them a little long to make sure that I had plenty of room. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue all of those down. And then we just have to finish it up. All right, while I'm finishing up this edge and gluing them around, just remember if you go back, I made these really long. So I'm trimming them. And what I'm going to do is just re hit them again with my flame so they don't fray before I glue them down. And I'm just gonna finish gluing them. Put a little glue on the ribbon and tuck it all the way around. So it's nice and neat inside. A backing on it comes with a backing because it's intended to be hung and framed on the wall. So you could paint this if you wanted to and then slide this back in and you've already got your hooks here on the top. But I've opted to leave mine clear. I want to see the wallpaper through the back of this when it's hanging up on the wall. So you'll be able to see through it. So there's just that little bit of shiny glitter going on. And if I put this backing against it, it just it's just not very pretty, right? So I'm going to leave this off, but I, that means I need to attach a wall hook to the top back up here. So just a regular wall hook in the center. I'm just gonna attach one there. And my frame is ready to go. You can see it better with the background on it. And these ribbons will hold my little alligator clips. And I just clip the bows on. And you can hang them on your wall and they're ready to go. How cute is that, right? That project didn't take hardly any time at all. And it is ready to go. What a great present. All right. Super.